So welcome. Today, I'm gonna be watching The Resort. I'm gonna be watching a few episodes today. So I'm excited to see where this goes. So far, where we left off, we have Kristen Milotti. Don't, still don't know how to pronounce that name. We have her character falling down this rabbit hole of a mystery about the this. These two missing teens who have no real connection. And then we're flashing back to when that happened. And we just saw that they kind of did, I guess, have a connection. They ran into each other and that's where the episode ended. So yeah. Like Let's go. Let's see where this adventure and this mystery takes us. Off to the resort. Oh yeah, and this all happened on Christmas Eve. You know, I had a friend who uh, went swimming in these waters and he got a flesh-eating bacteria. You sound just like your character from The Good Place. Hypochondriac that worries about everything. Chidi Onagonye. Is this the same day that those kids went missing from what seemed to be like a hurricane? Because this was December 24, 2007, and I think that is when the kids went missing. I'm not too sure. The resort. I liked when the logo was yellow before. Oh, this is where he comes in on the skateboard. Who the hell would bring a skateboard to a resort? That's on you. Man, you should know how to stop on a skateboard. Don't they have like medical areas or whatever they're called at resorts? Shouldn't you just go to like the nurse area or whatever? It, it really doesn't hurt as much as it, it looks like it would. Hold shock and adrenaline. You don't need like a specific glue to start? Maybe, I was gonna say, maybe you do need a specific type of glue. I don't think you can just get like Gorilla Glue or like Flex Seal and put it in your skull and close it up. Violet and Sam, the two favorite colors. Do you wanna put your number in just so I can check in on you in case you die? I can erase any evidence. Yeah, good thinking. Let me put in my number in your. I hope that they like get down and dirty. They do the deed because your girlfriend's cheating on you, bud. Okay. Oh, I thought she was just standing. I thought this was like a window. Like I thought this was a window and he, she was literally like five feet from him, but no. Sorry, I am inexperienced in the head department. Ooh, um, straight to oral. Yeah. Good for her. Good for him. Okay, did it dry yet? <laughs> um, yeah, but my... Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> They're perverts. Yeah, Expect. I know, I, didn't I think don't... they would be like, yeah. like horny. Okay, here's our first photo. Ready? Okay, yeah. No! Sam's bloody oh God. Okay. glued yeah. skull. So we're the perverts. Yeah. So we're the perverts. Okay. Yep. Keep an eye out for my skateboard. Sounds good. Yeah. She says, don't fuck with the yellow snake. It has four noses. What? Okay. I'm calling the police. Does the phrase, uh, don't fuck with the yellow snake. It has four noses mean anything to you? Hello? Interesting. I need to follow along the cab driver. Oh! Oh my god! The cab driver was there, it was all good. He, he seemed nice. He was a nice guy. Around Miss Universe. I wonder if that's true. I wonder if there's like actually a lady named Frias who is labeled as Miss Universe. Um Do you wanna take my measurement? How do you take someone's measurements? I've always kind of wondered that. Like, like, how do they know where to start and where to end? I need throw it on the way. The fact that everything's starting as like at the tailors, I feel like this this gives me very strong the Kingsman vibes already. And like a full underground organization of people, and they seem very classy. With this guy commenting on the fact that that one guy is like the best tailor around. Oh, 450,000 pesos. So that, what is that? That's 22,000 US dollars. Uh, we're actually Canadian and we actually don't know USD either, so. This is why you don't drink when you're on a mission. Pick up your phone. Pick up your phone. Pick up your phone. Where are you? Look for me. Don't look for me. Shit. Get back in the shop. Where are you? Everyone, the main characters feel like idiots. Like, why would you call him, have him pick up the phone and be like, hey, where are you? are you? And then you hang up your phone and then start like whispering, hoping like he would like see you or what, but saying like, oh, don't, don't look for me. Don't look for me. Why don't you just say it over the phone? So Wait, really calling? What the hell? we can't forget that time travel is important. Time travel exists. They they made that a proven point in the very first scene 
very first sent like second of the film this thing is gonna fuck with your head you're on vacation i suggest you stay on it they keep like he said this thing will fuck with your head really like strongly pointing out the timestamps. And again, the very first episode started with a thing about time travel. So there has to be time travel involved. If there's not, this is all gonna be bullshit. Is that a marble? Or is it a, like a brooch? It's a bookmark. You know what I wanna do? I wanna go get in that- the Music sounds like Spider-Man right now. What was she eating that had a human tooth in it? That was a human tooth, right? Or did her tooth just come out? Damn. I don't even know what to really say. That wasn't... I don't know. I don't like the way the characters are acting. They kind of seem a bit goofy and just getting their answers hand-fed to them. But whatever. We'll, uh... I'm gonna continue watching. We'll see where it goes. So, yeah. On to season... Or on to season one, episode three. Let's go. Let's see where this goes. The first two episodes. The first one was really good. The second episode was a bit iffy. I don't know. The the way the, air, the characters acted was a bit odd to me. Whether the, it was because they were drunk or not, it just seemed weird that they were... Just the way they acted, it seemed quite goofy and everything was just handed to them. Now here's the logo I like. So are these just bikes they rented, I'm assuming? Because how else would they get bikes? She put the kickstand on just for him to throw it in the bush. You're gonna find like the DeLorean in the middle of the parking lot somewhere and just a dead body strung across it. We just need to find this Balthasar guy's yellow room and match it to the last photo of Sam and Violet and then we've cracked it. I mean, I don't necessarily think that means you've cracked it. You just, again, figured out another piece of the puzzle. <laughs> See what I mean? Like, what was the point in that scene? That seemed odd to me. Why add that? So far, this is what I'm thinking. I think the writer had an idea, but didn't know how to write in between, how to get from puzzle piece A to puzzle piece B to puzzle piece C and how to connect them. They didn't know how to do the connecting part. And it just feels very like, I don't know, just feels very discombobulated and I don't know, unorganized. Yeah, I never really understood why people like golf so much, but now I, uh, I get it. Sometimes it's kind of fun to just hit shit. Golf is fun. You just gotta get drunk and drive from hole to hole in a golf cart and hit balls. That was a nice little transition. Time travel, that's the that's the same one that the boyfriend just threw. Directions to the Christmas party tonight. I'm much more enjoying this half of the show. And why isn't the girlfriend like concerned where the boyfriend is right now? I understand she's a cheater, but that I don't think that matters. I think she would still be concerned. Sue, so, uh, Squirt, I was thinking maybe we could take a little trip tomorrow. Maybe check out some ruins or a cenote. Um What's a cenote? <laughs> that was a funny laugh. I like that. Shout out Nick Offerman. Every resort I've went to, they never just gave out a beer bottle. It's always just like the smallest cans and it's draft. I don't think this card gets us up to the penthouse. It's just a I lot just, of information. I just don't, I don't know how to read it. Yeah. Okay, wait, I need the code. Is that it? Two, eight, six. Now that they got the door code, they could just they they could just go to the back staff. Hall, uh, elevator and then go up to the tent floor. You don't need a key card for that once you're in the back already. Also, I don't think staff would be having a party like this. They gotta go tend to their own parties. It's a resort. So they're just gonna skip over the fact that he had to like make up an excuse to his whole family to go on a date with this girl. This is literally me dancing. I don't know how to dance. I don't know. I don't know how to follow a rhythm. So when are they gonna get sent back in time? Or were they sent into the future? This is only 2007. I feel like this guy's living in the 70s. Don't fuck with the yellow snake, it's got phonosis. Maybe people wouldn't fuck with the snake as much as if you actually explained to them what that meant.
Awkward. I think they just fucked with the yellow snake. Yeah, yeah, Come on. Let's go find your skateboard. Come on. You also, like I mentioned, I don't think you need the key anymore. You're already in the back. Whoa, 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 Eric. It's only what like 10 feet. No, no, no. Oh. No, are you kidding me? No. We're just gonna climb up. Finally, someone's being rational. Here's my theory. Kristen Millinette is the mom of the chick who gets sent back in time and dies marrying Nick Offerman. <sighs> you didn't even like try to get off the ladder. This is what I mean. She's like, they're not even trying or like they're not even showing. It doesn't even look like they're trying. Back to the Spider-Man theme. This is a creepy ass room. Like it's so dark. It seems like a Dracula bedroom. Are they gonna find their bodies in there? Yeah, they hear each other. She heard them laughing. Looks untouched. Yeah, looks untouched, so I don't know. There's some there's some timey wimey stuff going on here, I'm sure of it. Okay, we got a couple. Can I see it? See again, why do you have to take the pictures? Why don't you just get down at that own angle and look up you? This is what I mean, they just act really weirdly. Oh, okay. In here, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. I have an idea of what's going on, and I'll I'll say it when the episode's over. Please don't look at me like that. Okay. I can like feel the judgment. Wow, you sound like a drug addict. Oh my well, god. Well I mean, look, I mean, your your teeth are Falling out. out. That's no, not it's good one at all. And yeah, but you know, what? like the way you're acting with this phone, which is, you know, that's whatever. It's, it's fine. But I just, I, I am worried about you. Okay. Well, great. I feel very cared for. Oh, don't do. That. Stop. I don't you care stop. about that. Don't shut down and avoid I talking. I don't want to lecture. I don't want to lecture right now. I don't want to lecture. Just I just, move I don't just know why you Noah, won't just fucking talk. At least Noah's being rational. She, there's something. Why? I don't get it. She's weird. Is there something in the closet they're gonna keep backing up? Oh, I thought it was I thought that was the end of the episode. Why would you put the phone down? This is what I mean. Why would you put the phone down? These these people are irrational. That's your fault for looking away at him, so you can't blame Noah for that. Okay, so that was episode three of The Resort. I don't know how to feel, how, like, how to feel about this show. I'm enjoying it to a degree, but I'm not invested. The characters are idiots. I'm not enjoying the way that they, like, talk to each other and the way that they get from point A to point B. Everything just seems weirdly, like, written. I don't know. I'm glad that, what was his name, Noah, um, named a, his girlfriend for being all weird, almost like a drug addict. But I don't know. It seems really weird, just the way that everything is happening. She seems overly invested into it, and I, I don't understand why i do believe there is some sort of time travel going on because when noah threw like that coconut or whatever it like came back and hit the dad from 15 years earlier in the head so i assume that there's some sort of time travel ish thing going on and the main couple heard sam and violet in the past while they were like getting down and dirty and vice versa they were hearing each other at least that's what it seemed like so yeah i verily i very much expect this to be time travel but i don't know we'll see yeah overall i've been enjoying it weirdly not invested but i have been enjoying it that has been episode three of the resort if you enjoyed watching with me why don't you think about leaving a like subscribe while you're at it and leave a comment if you want to see me react to something i've been a guy named chase i enjoy watching movies and i hope that you have a wonderful day goodbye